everybody, it's, it's us, us the Wine Ladies. Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone to the show. We're so excited to be here today. We're at, in Hi, Prince Carolyn. Edward. How are things going? It's great. Yeah, actually, you can see everything's very muddy, which means soon we're going to be out in the vineyards. So this is always the time of year where I'm feeling very energetic. I'm not uh, tired yet. Aha, uh -huh, yes, lots of anticipation, lots exactly. of excitement. It all seems like all a this great vintage idea like. <laughs> And you poured us a glass of sparkling wine here, and we understand this is your first vintage in the sparkling category. It is my very, very first loose. It's absolutely lovely. It's got a good crispness. Elegant. Like a city, very elegant. Oh, yeah, yeah lovely. <laughs> we weren't supposed to say. No, because we <laughs> think that Jeff absolutely outdid himself. Oh, and, and uh, you know. But well, we don't want him to get a fat head. He might want to raise heaven. <laughs> All right, well, we're about to embark on a tour of the winery, so we're excited to see uh, everything is that yep. there is about the winery here today. Great, let's take okay, a walk let's around. Let's have a toast, too. Cheers. Cheers. To Carol. Welcome. Welcome to our wine. Thank you very much. We're in the no, barrel cellars here. And uh, this is a lot more romantic than the stainless steel section. <laughs> oh, really? I'm getting woody. <laughs> That's going to be on television. No! It is! No. It is, John. You're in trouble yeah. now. That's scary. Caught? You're a good caught. <laughs> Alright, so Carolyn, tell us a little bit of what's going on in here. Okay, this is probably the most important room in the building. Uh, because here are, are where most of the wines are given, given the opportunity to develop so their treatment. Wines are down here anywhere from 4 to 18 months generally, all in French oak. I will use 300 liter uh, French oak for the Victoria Block Chardonnay. Yes. Otherwise, all the barrels are Burgundy style, 228s. Uh, we have uh, barrels that we use for Pinot Noir and Gamay. Often, the Gamay will go into the oak first to condition the barrels, and then the Pinot Noir will transition in after, with the exception of Grange Pinot Noir, which has its own dedicated barrels. So how many varietals do you make, and how many wines do you have now? Okay, I grow six varietals, but mm -hmm. I make a little bit more than that. So core would be Pinot Noir Chardonnay Gamay. Mm -hmm. uh, added to that was Pinot Gris, which mm -hmm. was an amazing surprise. When, did, when was your first Pinot Gris? First Pinot Gris was 2006, uh, okay. was our first vintage. It was planted first in 04. Uh -huh. And the Pinot Gris. Wow. Yes, 06 was also the year that I learned about um, late spring frosts. Ah, <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> You know, every yeah. year you learn, you learn something, something new. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. 06 was my year to learn about late spring uh, frosts in terms of crop. Uh, it's been a number of years since we've lost crop because we bury the canes mm -hmm. and now we have uh, also uh, inversion fans to protect, oh, good. <laughs> to protect against uh, late spring, early fall frost. So so what did John buy from upstairs? Oh, I bought something as, a, as a Scotsman. Like as a Scotsman, I bought something that was two dollars off. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you bought this uh, what is, it is this? Uh, what the, Can you read that? As the, I saw this one. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes there? lovely, by the way. It tastes lovely. I tasted it, and it was lovely. It is nice. It's a very uh, nice one. It is part of our declassification system, but yeah. it started life uh, differently. It started in 2004 uh, when uh, the amount of white grapes that I picked all together only fit in one. So it was that year Chardonnay, uh, a little a little bit of Riesling, a little bit of Pinot Gris, and we had purchased um, two rows worth of Malone de Bourgogne, and we're looking oh. at each other, and it, are how gonna are do? we going to press yeah. this? Unless we so put not. it <laughs> So we put it in the press, and we run it through, and, and the next question was, um, what are we going to name it, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, we called it assemblage because that made sense. Yes. It's a blended. Blend of everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you'll we'll have to share with that with us a little bit later. You're gonna have to crack that open at dinner. <laughs> Whatever you guys what want. What do you think? Just take your boots off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can no, these high heels. <laughs> I got stuck on Pinot Gris, but we also have um, Riesling and Cap Franc. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. in 2007, I planted a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc mm -hmm. as oh. an experiment. And How is it? 
It's amazing. Is it really? Maybe yeah. we should oh, go try some try some. One of my favorites. We'd have okay. to go okay. steal it from the barrel. Oh, we don't oh, care. My it's okay. Don't, I'll, I'll, don't we have connections, Caroline? I, <laughs> <laughs> I will go steal some from the barrel. Well, God bless you. Try it. There you go. There we are. Um, and maybe good. we'll try the Pinot Noir upstairs as well. C'est okay. bon, ça. So. C'est okay. bon. Whatever. Bunny yeah, day. Sounds good. Okay. Let's go. So our Cheers. very first one. Yay. Oh, really? First one. We didn't think so. Is that it? Oh, okay. Isn't that so? Yeah, no. Does that yeah, have a I'll have one. But you're. Uh, one more? Yeah, I was going to have one. Because I like one to chew. I don't like yeah. a can. You don't even have to taste it. It's so it's awesome. Very good. It gives it a mouthfeel also. Like, I think that's really. You're going to like this. I like that. I feel like what it does. It's a little bit ugly. Do you have a lot of it? Or is it. Yes. <laughs> that's all there is. That is. Was that it? Was that it? I have plastic. Yeah, four barrels. Four, four barrels. Four okay, barrels. that won't be going to the LCBOs. No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it in our... Uh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's a giant glass. That's what I Is this the old 72 though? It is. Same vintage. Now, interestingly, this was picked out here. The grapes that went into this wine I spent five days hand sorting with my five best Mexican friends. Mm -hmm. So we weren't just <laughs> hand sorting. Yeah, no, it was quite the experience. Our first year hand sorting. And they figured out the routine and they were starting to find it a little boring until they discovered that I actually, not that I'm a control freak, but I just tend to, <laughs> like to understand what people are doing and how they're doing it. And I noticed one guy throw a bunch that I thought was neither physiologically or physically perfect, right? Ah. And I dove after it into the pen. <laughs> and I got, this, you know, sort of crawled back out and I was all juicy and I saw the look of delight on their faces. Uh, <laughs> we never go anywhere with no, 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 no. That is your signature piece. This is our signature. It really is. Yeah. You know, I mean, and it really works. You know, sometimes if you were walking down, not everybody, not everybody, not everybody would recognize us right yes. away. They might be living what on the talk? walk. Yeah. 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 You drink less when you use these glasses too. Yeah, I like it's, your logic. I think. No, it's true. It's true. Because it takes a lot more work to get it up to your mouth. <laughs>